what is going on guys we are back on the second channel here we got some cool stuff going on today checking on the animals out here checking on the the tortoises they are doing good bowser hasn't even come out of his house yet it looks like we got some rain coming but i wanted to start on this project so we got kind of a uh long project coming and this is it so this right here is called an ibc tote they are pretty cheap. I got this one for a hundred bucks. It's 330 gallons. It was previously used for hand sanitizer. So it's not anything too chemical in there. You know, we can clean out some hand sanitizer pretty easily. Shouldn't be too bad. Jess is barking because she wants a grapefruit. Jess. She got it. Chickens over here doing pretty good. I got their hanging food set up. I don't know if you saw that, but I had to, um, I had to do this because it's open on the top and I didn't want the rainwater to just completely wreck it. Most people have a cover over it. And then I put this stick across here so they can kind of hang out. Um, but the plan is to expand the chicken coop and connect it to the uh, new project here and make it all in one as things grow and escalate back here. And obviously I want this whole backyard property. Anything that's not used for storing cars, I would like to turn it into something for... Um, Something for food, animals, plants, something along those lines. So that's the goal. I live in an area in a neighborhood that has a good amount of that, and that's the plan. So first step I need, I guess first step is to explain what the plan is here. So the plan is to take this and I'm gonna cut it right here and then cut it right here so that this piece is its own top and then this piece got its own bottom for it and then we were gonna and then we we're gonna flip the top, put it across the top, and use this thing as a full aquaponics system. So aquaponics is when you use fish and plants to work together. The fish water gets filtered through the plants, the plants soak in the nutrients from the fish water, and they put back in fresh water into the fish. So it's one contained ecosystem that we are planning to build out of this. And um, the goal is to use as much of this as possible. The is probably gonna be right here. I've watched today where we get some good amount of sun, but not a crazy amount. So like right over here would probably be perfect. You know, we get the sun during the day, but not all day, just a good spot. So this would be perfect. And then hopefully I would like to use the water from that for the fish, from the fish and the plants for the chickens and the tortoises as its own contained thing because that's one thing that I haven't figured out with them yet is how I'm gonna continually get them water to where they're not like constantly reliant on me filling it every single day or every single week. Something like that where everything can kind of self-contain for a few days without my intervention. That's the goal. That is obviously the goal on animals. Obviously animals really require daily work, but the hope is some self-efficiency and self-sufficiency without constant human intervention. Unlike these dogs that don't really, <laughs> she doesn't want to let it go. Unlike these dogs that don't really uh, have any self-sufficiency, you would die if I didn't feed you in the morning. Right, Jess? Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme it. Jess, I know you don't want them to have it. And then, the other part of it is the fish and the eggs will be a great food substitute for the dogs. I will eat fish and eggs also, but hopefully I can have enough to where me and the dogs can eat the fish and eggs. It's gonna be really healthy for them. I definitely would like that. The fish will, the, the chickens will pretty much eat all the rest of the fish cartridge, cart, the fish carcass. So they'll pick on the rest of that and then we can hopefully, whatever food we basically don't eat will go to them between the tortoises and the fish and the chicken soon enough. We should be able to dispose of leftovers nicely and then add some plants so the tortoises can get some food and we can get some food from it. But that's the goal. So enough me going back and forth on that and my motives, but time to get to work on it. Okay, so Cut this off the top um, right there, cut it right there. And then I put the lines right there. So I just have to cut this. All right, so here is basically the, um, the 
started product. Why are you guys being loud over there? The started product. We'll open the door if you guys want to come hang out. There's no dogs out here. But here's the started product. So cut it, um, cut it here. And basically you fill this with clay media, they call it. And um, you put a siphon drain uh, at the lowest point. So probably one of the corners or something like that. And then a pump down in here where the fish will be. So you'll have all this room to get to your fish, feed them, clean the sides, whatever you need to do. So you'll have all that space. And then the pump will continually fill up and then once it reaches the siphon the siphon drain it'll just drain back down and it'll continue on like that so it should drain every like 20 30 minutes at least cycle once an hour all right so i decided to just um unbolt this and flip it so now the top has this across it and then i'll just have to uh screw those in on the bottom but it's really honestly pretty sturdy but a couple screws in there will do good and then we can put this back in once it's cleaned. All right, I'm super pumped about that. That makes it sit so nicely, so sturdy, especially once this is filled with water and this is filled with media. I can move it forward if I need to, depending on how it's kind of trying to tilt, you know, uh, physics, but it fits so nicely. This is super cool. You'll have plenty of room to get in here for the fish. Um, the plants won't be that high up. You know, they'll be like, up here which is kind of cool um maybe i need a step stool for a bronte but not bad still got 300 gallons in here and obviously you can't fill it to the top so it's still going to be like 200 two well 250 gallons but it'll probably end up being like 200 once it's full maybe 225 something like that because you do need the uh, room for the water to come in and aerate but look at that Okay, so here is the initial start of it. Basically, this is level one. Um, I still have to add the drains and everything. Got a chicken out here hanging out. She doing rotini. I'll let them all out. See if they want to hang out, graze a little bit. Why I'm out here with the no dogs. Um, but this is level one. I just had some miscellaneous spray paint that I threw on there just so that the algae doesn't form on the base. Um, I wanted to catch as much rainwater as possible, so I wasn't using water just right from the hose. Figured the rainwater might be a little bit better, like pH and uh, nitrate levels and everything like that. I don't know. I don't know plants that well. I don't know fish that well, but I'm learning. Excited. I have a lot of space in there, really. Like, you could fit probably 30, 40 tilapia in here and then some catfish, potentially, or just put a second one and then a second planter something like that like i can expand for sure and then next step is just the the ball the bell siphon that's what needs to be on top so a bell siphon is a very particular type of siphon that once the water gets to a certain level it'll pull and basically pull a vacuum and pull all the water back out of it so basically that's probably the most complicated part of this whole thing i would say um and so the most complicated part i guess will be once it comes to making sure that the ph and everything is right but the most complicated construction part will probably be the siphon and it's made with all pvc pipe and i think it's a pretty cool deal you guys might like to see it all right so let me explain this in a way hopefully everybody will understand so this is where the water will basically pass through to the bottom this is our ceiling pass through um it's just like a bulkhead basically so this will be on the top to this then this will be on the top of there just to give it a little bit more of a uh, correct size it'll probably be about that tall and then this guy right here will be capped off and sealed air sealed and then a couple holes underneath at the bottom and it'll go over this and the water will be able to fill up into here but once it reaches where our top is it'll start going down and it'll pull the water with it and continue to go down and then this one goes around it like that something like that um it's a little little tight but the only real necessary uh feature for this one is to have slits in it to let the water in to keep the uh, large media pellets from going in as well because we're trying to keep the media pellets from obviously going into the fish so this is a tight snug fit like that um, it's all gonna have to be cut down, of course, because it doesn't need to be this tall. 
but basically it's like a three level contraption and then underneath here is going to be this guy so that we can put the water into a couple different directions to try to aerate the water as much as possible i will probably still need an aerator especially in this type of temperature where the uh, the air the water temperature being very high is very tough to keep a lot of oxygen in the water which is very hard on fish so probably need an aerator in the summer but probably won't need it in the winter but we won't know until we get that far so time to start on all this first basically take the measurement first basically find where this is going um, that's our first step because you know it obviously needs to go somewhere where it's not going to be an issue you know dropping down nothing's going to be interfering with it and it could be at the low point of the tank that's all that's all things we need so probably going to try to put it somewhere like over here or something in the corner usually of it all right so here it is um i just kind of haphazardly cut this just kind of doing a test here really um, it should sit like that and then the other sleeve will go around it so that nothing big can kind of clog these up and this is just kind of its own thing so time to uh fill this up with water see if that leaks and see how this works okay so we're filling it up up here see how this works out um, it doesn't seem to be leaking there. It is leaking there, but that I kind of expected. These aren't exactly made to be held upside down like this. Um, so I'm just gonna have to put some sealant around there. All right, so I just did a little quick cut there and then put the two. It's definitely leaking a little bit, but I never really used any sealant on there. I didn't use any um, wrap or any of like that purple sealant that I have. Um, I have some of that stuff already. I just, this is just to do the test. We're getting close though. Now, I will be able to play around with the high tide line here, so like, you know, how much water sits in it before it drops, but this is a good start. You know, all I have to do is change up that simple uh, piece of PVC pipe. Like, it takes so takes nothing to either cut a new piece or cut that one shorter, make a longer one, whatever we need to do. I don't know how high the me media pellets are gonna be in here, but this seems like a pretty good start. I'm worried that that thing's gonna float, but I guess PVC probably doesn't float, it's pretty dense. We're getting close. Started. When the pump doesn't have to stop, it will just suck in all the water. Aerating it pretty nicely too, look at how like that side is going. So what's faster though? Will it drain? It looks like it's draining a lot faster than it's filling. This is obviously a lot of water flow though. Okay, we're getting down to when the seal is gonna break. Pretty pumped about this. It's kind of cool, it's like physics, you know? And we're about to stop. That's pretty cool, I'll be honest. So far, we are in a great start. We just need the pump and a couple hoses and it's freaking awesome. It would be really cool to somehow just siphon and have this thing not even any power, but I just don't think it could siphon fast enough. If you guys have any good ideas, I'm all for it, but I don't think it could siphon fast enough. That one I think is a rooster. Are you a rooster? Are you a rooster? You tell me. You have to tell me. By law. What about you? You a rooster? You have to tell me. Alright guys, well that'll do it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts or ideas to add to this. I have a lot of things I really want to add. One of them being like a bug zapper and lights and I want to connect it to the chicken coop. I have so many ideas but first step is to get it running ready and able to put some fish and plants in there and then second step we can um 
we can start growing our uh, fish farm to maybe be a little bigger because these are pretty simple and I can easily add more of them as I please um, if we can figure it out from there. I, I tried the plant thing, but I always tell people I have more of a um, animal thumb than a green thumb. So maybe the both included will save me. And I do like the idea of the nutrients coming from the fish for the plants and the bacteria and all the things that they need to help the plants grow and the plants filtering for the fish. I like, I like that idea. So that will probably help me a lot. The plants, they were just so, so boring. They didn't do anything. This, at least there's excitingness. So <laughs> that's going to do it though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it saucy. I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the second channel here if you want to see more farm stuff.